we want the mean, median, mode, and range on these ones. So we just kind of go in there. And I, I don't really need to relist these values for this one because they're already listed for me up there at the top. So I'm just going to add all these. So I'm putting a plus sign in, in between these here. Now, while you, you're welcome to do this in your head if you'd like, it's a little bit early for me right now, so I'm going to just do it in the calculator. So I go to my calculator, and you do have to be careful because I say you, but I really mean me. I got to be careful because sometimes I either type in the wrong number or I miss a number. So I got to be careful. Plus 5.3, plus 5.7, plus 4.9. Enter, and it gives me the sum of... 47.5, okay? So that's the sum that I got. And then for the mean, which is the average, we're gonna take that sum and divide it by however many numbers there are. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got nine numbers right there. So divide it by nine. So I take 47.5, divide it by nine in my calculator, because I can't do that in my head. And it gives me 5.27 repeating. So I'm just gonna round that to the nearest tenth and make that 5.3, okay? So that would be our mean or the average. Now for the median, and some students still get this little mixed up is, that, well, we already have a list of numbers and that looks great, but if we want to find the median, we need to actually change the order of these. I like to do it from least to greatest. Some students like to say least, greatest to least. It doesn't really matter as long as they're in order from one of those two. So I say least to greatest for me. And uh, I see it looks like 4.8 is the smallest of these. So 4.8, put that right there. I give myself enough space. So 4.9 is next, but I see three of those. One, two, and three. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, that looks correct to me. 5.3, two times. Yeah, twice right there for 5.7. And then 6.0. Now, I was underlining those as we went through them so that I knew that I didn't miss any values because uh, I say you guys shouldn't do it, but I do it. So that's why I have to make sure that I don't miss any of those. <laughs> that's how I keep track of them. Some, some people actually just cross them out either uh, two. It's up to you, whatever. Okay, so we got to find the middle of these values. So I'd say, let's start, I say, if you look at the very ends of, of the values, because I'm just looking for the middle here, um, I say this 4.8 kind of matches the 6.0 on the ends. And so I just keep moving inwards. This number kind of matches or cancels out that value. And then this 4.9 with that 5.7. And then this 4.9 with 5.3. And I'm left with one final number right here in the middle there, 5.3. So that, it, that would be considered our median. It's nice when there's one value right in the middle because we don't really have to do any work with it. But if, again, if there was two values right there in the middle, I'd have to add those two values and divide by two, which is an average of two values. Next up, we gotta find the number that occurs the most, which is the mode. Now be careful because there are three different numbers that happen multiple times, but only one of them happens more than the others. And I see that that's this 4.9 right here, okay? So I say 4.9, that would be our mode, the number that occurs the most. Well, what about the ones that occur two times? Well, that's not the most. Three times here was 4.9 is the most. And then finally, our range. The range is simply taking the largest number here, 6.0, and then subtracting the smallest value, which is 4.8. Of course, you could use a calculator to do this if you'd like. I get 1.2 when I subtract those. So that's a range of 1.2. Uh, uh, ranges are significant because it'll tell you how wide the values are which is kind of how we can tell if there is any type of association on this stuff, okay? Now on this one, you see that the mean and median match, which is actually kind of rare, it's pretty rare. Um, but these are what we call measures of center. 
thing, same with mode. Mode is considered a measure of center. And you can see though that if these values were different, that it would be easy to manipulate people's brains and tell them certain things based on certain values here. Okay? So you'd have to be careful because if you think that this doesn't happen in real life, then you'd be, well, <laughs> we would worry about you, especially when you go to vote. <laughs>